pick up any of my people, man. Hey guys, it's Nerdo Life, the gamer investor, and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna play another uh, Act Racer Renaissance gameplay. Um, yeah, so uh, last episode we beat the Minotaurs. Now we're in the area called Blood Pool. We're gonna save the people. We're gonna be there, uplift them from all the monsters, cause that's how we are as the savior. Yeah, that's right, guys. So let's play the game. Let's go back. Can't wait to play. I mean, last episode, like I've been telling you guys, um, with the whole shard thing, uh, Crystal Shard made the game easy. But hey, you know what? It's a cool addition. I mean, do I love it? Is it needed? I don't know, but who cares? Let's keep on playing and let's save Blood Pool. Let me, where are we? There you go. Let's save Blood Pool. From the Tantra's minions. <laughs> here we are. So yeah, we just, uh, so when we ended it, we just got into here. So let's start um, offering guidance. Let's go here, here, and here. All right, let's start. Oh. Uh, Radiant Sun, right? Yeah. Let's do that. There you go, it's beautiful now. Let's do another Radiant Sun. Around here. Oh, so that's where one of the demon area is. One, two, and three. We have three. Okay. Let's start building the top first. And um, do divine lightning here. And we got 12. We can do another divine lightning. Let's go attack that um, that demon area there. Let's offer another guidance here, here. Oh, we can't even go there, huh? Let's go again here. All right, should start building. <clears throat> Thunder. One angel army. <laughs> I wonder what it, what did I do to get that achievement? No, oh, we don't have enough. Let's go there again. One, two, three. There you go. Now we have farmlands. All right, let's destroy this. Getting the hang of it. We gotta drain the marshlands. I'm like trying to destroy the thing already. Oh, there's another demon one here. Okay. All right, can we build forts now? Towers, where can we build a tower? Build one here. <clears throat> but we need 50. Alright. 
How much is it to think? 12? Alright, that's... Come on, come on. I need your SP. Oh, it's only three. Oh, only two is working right now. I see. I'm like so used to like having a lot already. We got Palisades. There you go. Let us build a fort. Uh, maybe here. Uh, around here. Should be good. There you go. Alright. We have thing. Let us... Think the marshland again. Got three. Seven. Give me SP, man. We can't even go. Oh, jeez. Two more to go. We'll drain that, and then that. Oh, I hope with this we can get our, um, we can get our, to make bridges. We learn how to make bridges. And one more. Don't touch my people. Another swamp. Maybe we can build a fort around here. Yeah, I think that's a good protection. We'll see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. don't pick up any of my people, man. One more tile. I got three palaces. That's good. We could build another fort. Let's put one here. Around here. That should be good. Boom. Oh, jeez. Alright. Uh, here you go. Get the maintain our green seven marshlands. Oh Lord, my wife and I would speak to you of a matter near and dear to our hearts. We have a son. Teddy is his name. And though he is nearly of the age when one must take up a trade, he is yet a child at heart, content to go gallivanating in the wilds outside our settlement. I realize this is not the sort of matter one would bring to the attention of a god. But even so, we ask you, O Lord, to help our Teddy walk a more responsible path with your gratitude and grace. How, how, how the hell am I supposed to do that? 
Who's this Teddy? Is that, is that one of the main characters? Teddy. What a wonderful day. The sun is shining brightly and I have this great expanse all to myself. Now and ever after. Too afraid the other talk. To venture close to the poison lake. Oh, it's poison. But not I. And so the secret paradise is mine. Alone to enjoy. Huh? Is there someone there? Oh, look at this. I guess that's one of the heroes of Bloodpool. Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm I... Monsters. Monsters are after me. Please, I need your help. Yes, of course. I'll take you back to the village. Can you walk? Take my hand. I'll help you up. Oh, Teddy's such a nice gentleman. Chance encounter quest clear. Plus 50 faith. Hmm. It would seem that further development of this settlement will not be possible until your children grow greater in number. Of course, in keeping to your sage guidance, I am sure they will multiply and prosper. Of course. Ain't dirty. Did that already. Oh Lord, our son Teddy returned from his last excursion into the wild. With a stranger, a young woman. Daniela. Okay, Daniela is our hero, huh? Strike me as a quite timid girl. She spoke little to save to name herself and thank us for our aid. We have invited her to stay with us, that she might rest and recover from her ordeal. In the meantime, we would seek out the lair of the fiends that pursued her. Oh Lord, we pray you bless us with this strength and courage to confront our foes when we find them. Alright, let's go destroy. Ah, uh, close the lair's entrance with the aid of the people in the center to destroy the spire. Uh, let's do that. Uh, let's destroy this first. Oh, what is this? Looks like an Ifri. Oh wow, it's open. All right. Oh no, the people have marshaled their courage and sallied forth to open the entrance to the fiend's lair, the monster spawner within has been lain bare. May your divine hand, may those device be destroyed and lair See forever. Go for it, master of life, and smite the demons. Hold on, let me just destroy these guys. Where's the other one? There you go. That's very important. Let's descend to battle. Let's get this spawner. Oh, we get crystals here too? What? It's nice. Oh, jeez. They're really hard. <clears throat> yeah, having magic <laughs> really makes this game so simple. Master new to life, in helping to see the lair sealed, 
your children have grown more confident and resilient. They may now oppose the enemy more vigorously. To wit, you may now instruct them to build additional fortifications to defend their settlement. Alright. Three to four forts. We'll see. Oh Lord of Moses, no more. <coughs> By your miraculous power was it sealed. And for the deed we thank you. Daniela. Hello there, Daniela. How are you feeling? I have a request. Please, please don't cast me out. I can contribute to the village. I can. Pray allow me to stay and I will do my most to help you all. Calm yourself, child. No one here has any intention of making you leave. I don't know what you gave you the idea. We were even considering it. Clearly, your experience in the wilds has unsettled your heart. When I myself am in a similar state, I find peace to repair to our Lord of Light. Perhaps you might try to sing. So that's Daniela. A fearful child indeed. Um, is someone there? Who speaks my name? Curious, I did not intend to make myself heard. And yet my words ring clear in her ears. This warrants investigation. I'll be just a moment, Master Nerd of Life. Be not afraid, Daniela. I am the right hand of the Lord of Light. And I come as a friend. You, you're an angel. I am indeed. I reveal myself only to a select few of your kind. It is quite the honor for which you should feel grateful. I see. Thank you. <coughs> hmm, better. You are most welcome. You are not of this village, yes? Yet I know of no other summit nearby. From where precisely do you hail? I um, pray. Excuse me? Huh? Did that mortal just run away from me? <laughs> No, nope, she got something hiding. Hmm. The blood man may have had the right of it. Whatever happened to her has left her adult and impossible to engage. There is a terror in her. A bone deep fear. But of what? Bridge building. Alright, let's... Oh lord in grace and splendor. We, your children of blood pool, have conceived of a most wonderful invention. We now have the means to build bridges spanning rivers, allowing safe passages on foot. This new innovation shall empower us to extend our claim further southward towards the ocean shore to cure more land for our growing population. Mr. your life, your people's ability to construct bridges has empowered them to expand into yet uncult uncultivated lands. Guide them onto this virgin soil that they might build roads and prosper further. Yeah, well, that's the plan. It's thing here first, though. Alright. Building, building face. If I may imagine your life, your children of Blopo are at prayer and seek your attention. River Marauders. Build two or more gatehouses. Oh gosh, really? I guess. Although your children live in fear for the monsters that hunt us, more clever than common beasts, and have grown adept at finding gaps in our defense. In recent days, they have used the rivers and canals to launch their assaults much to our dismay. It is our belief that our best recourse would be to construct a new fort to secure this point of entry, but as we should be glad to defer to your guidance. It's not a bad idea if you ask me, a rather ingenious one, even clever as ever these mortals. Why not give them your blessing and bid them proceed with their plans? Let's do it. So um, I can build a fort. Dang, this if freed is. Oh, don't be destroying my place, man. Alright, let's manage forts. We can build a gatehouse here. Oh. Hmm. Put one here. It's kind of pointless.
Hmm. All right. Let's have them go around here. Yeah. Let's clean up. And we can do three. There you go. Saving time. Now let's do the marsh here. I think we can do three at one time. Yeah. Look at that. We're supposed to, let's make ourselves um you know what, let's demolish one of the forts I guess this one for now and let's build one I guess around here right Pardon me, Master Life, but there is someone who wishes to convey to your words of gratitude. Alright, deliver word! Oh Lord, doubtless you have seen how our new forts hold firm against the fiend's latest assaults. Your children will sleep more soundly in the nights to come. We pray you will continue to shower us with love and show us favor, O oh Lord. The fiends are not to be underestimated. No matter how insignificant the weakness, they will seek out and find means to exploit it. And when they find a weakness absent, they will not lose heart. Let's <coughs> be search for another, for no defense is impenetrable. The struggle continues without rest or respite. Only with the fall of Tendershans will the blood men finally enjoy a measure of peace. Alright. You got Daniela. Alright, uh, how do we do that? Inventory. Confirm. Didn't yeah, level up yet. Makes sense. Alright, let's do another marsh clear up. Palisades. Let's make another guidance. One, two, three, four. Since appears a magic emanate from this terror master. Your chosen leg switch train in number to act against the fiends at this time. Okay. That's fine. Marsh. 
Oh oh. Wait for the Ifrit. Alright, let's destroy. <clears throat> Can we upgrade now? now? No, we can't even. Start building around here. There you go. Daniela. You have a purpose to look, Daniela. Have you been offering prayers to our Lord? Actually, I. the truth is, I know a little magic. I was trying to sense if um, any monsters were growing close to the village. With magic, you mean? That's, that's very impressive. That's our Lord so fit to bless you with such a gift. How wonderful. Wait, I can feel them. A horde of monsters. They will be here soon. Oh shoot. Are you sure? Then we must inform the others at once. Join me please. The powers you command will prove invaluable. In the battle to come. Oh no, I couldn't possibly. I doubt my presence alone would. She wields magic. True magic. But mages and their destructive arts we said to have vanished from this world long ago. Yet the shadows is heir to their legacy. Who is she really? <clears throat> Victory in Dordor is on. Temple destroyed. Let's go. Let's do it. Proceed. Alright, let's... Uh... Deploy Palisades. Let's put one here. Put one here. Put one here. 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 And here. Alright, let's see. How's your life? Not that for Lotus. That's a trusty to you of his shadow star you may summon him to battle at will oh yeah wow summoning champions it's nice the champions prophesize who are presenting to you their shards of starlight may be summoned to aid in the defense of settlements in other realms once called to battle these heroes will fight alongside your people as an ally when the summoned gods is completely filled you may summon a champion oh this god will gradually be filled as you defeat enemies with allies, sports, and miracles. Okay. Bring all that you have to bear against the fiends, master. You will soon have the power to summon a champion to smite your foes once and for all. All right. Where are they coming from? Oh shit! Let's command our ally. Let's go here. Lightning. Got another palisade. Could heal up. That's it. Seems like very easy. Um, let us do another. 
see the sunlight. Message in real life. The shard of starlight pulses with power. The time has come to call upon your champion prophesized. Summoning champions. By consuming a full summon gauge, you can call upon the champion to aid you in battle. After pressing summon champion, select the location where you would like the chosen hero to appear. This hero will function as an ally in battle and will answer to your commands as given. Wow, that's nice. <coughs> Sorry. Incapacitated summon champions. Should a summon champion suffer significant damage and their HP be reduced to zero, you will not only be incapacitated but be returned to her home realm. However, this chance may be relied upon once more by expending another full summon gauge to call upon them again. Okay. Pride of Fillmore, Arphilotus, Hildaus proved an invaluable ally against the strongest of foes in distant lands. Let's call upon him at first opportunity, master near to life. Wait, how, how do I summon? Oh, summon hero! Philotus! I summon you! Come forth to blood pool! Yeah! Look at that! Oh wait, wow, they're here! <laughs> I've been... Oh wow. Uh, Philotus! Let's have you come here. I oh, know you got it. It's good. We're good. We're good. See, ya. No. our palisades are still good. All right, we got our enemies there now. Uh, Philo's gonna handle that. And. Come around here. Wow, they're here. Um, you know what? Let's get that. Oh, wow. Um, let's move you over here. No, let's move you here. Daniela, don't worry. Alright. Now let us... Chain Lightning! Boom. Got health, palisades. Alright, let's get some health. Alright then, yeah, now we can come here now. <clears throat> man, look at Lotus, man. Final party of fiends has come. We can but beat beat back these enemies. Victory is victory is ours. Okay. Let us move her. We're here. Let's get some SP. I think that's it. Hey, if you notice, got this. Look at that. My goodness. Look at her doing her magic. <laughs> Daniela, she destroyed that. Her life is like 35 though. <laughs> Proceed. Alright. Oh lord, we have successfully repelled the monstrous horde, which attempted to raise our village to the ground. Young Daniela was instrumental in our victory. Not only did she forewarn us of the impending assault, but in battle she was a force to behold. Laying low fiends left and right with her formidable magic. Yeah, she helped a lot. But grateful as we are to her, O oh Lord, we yet have questions. She's reticent to speak about of her past, how she came to command such powers. At length, she told us of a castle in the west, beneath which she claimed she lived in hiding for many years. 
However, none here have ever seen this castle. There are some few among us who are unsure what to make of our guest, who cannot help but regard her and her magic with a measure of fear. All right. Reward 50. It would seem that further development of this settlement will not be possible until you children grow greater in number. Well, of course, in keeping your sage guidance, I'm sure they will multiply and prosper. Of course. Oh, jeez. What is now? Oh, Lord, your children are ready to journey onto the lair of the monster to the next. We ask young Danielle to accompany us. Her magic would help ensure the safety of our expedition. Try as we might. To persuade her, she would not agree. Can I speculate as to her reason? She gave none. Nevertheless, we have faith that we will overcome this trial with our aid, for we know you walk by our side, O oh Lord. Daniela. Daniela, child, you must see it too. Your guarded nature feeds the blood men's trust and suspicion. Will you not explain yourself to me, at least? She truly had nothing to hide. I don't. It's just that I know I won't be of any use to them. It's better that I stay here, safer. Gah, this child, she's possessed of such incredible power. It seems utterly devoid of confidence. It's beggar's belief. Beggar's belief? What's that? What's that, guys? Beggar's belief. Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, look at this. Uh, civilization plus one. Nice. Let's just with the eight other people. Oh, careful, careful. I may master in real life. Your children of blood pool are. Oh my gosh! Again. Build five or more workshops. Except. Oh, generous lord, with wisdom's gift, we have gained knowledge, bridges, and their construction. Alas, we have found that our attempts end in failure. For without exception, every bridge I built has fallen to ruin. It is our choice of materials. We think they would stand the elements to humidity that invites rot. Much improve upon our designs. However, with the resources at our bottom, we will struggle to achieve this or not at all, I fear. I suppose there is a logic to this words. When can I build the same bridge in every client expected to endure? Perhaps with more workshops and craftsmen to consider the problem, the more can develop a solution. Alright, we'll do that. All right, cool. All right, guys. Let me just get this. Uh, uh. I'll end the episode here. Uh, yeah, I'll end the episode here now. Um, next time, we're going to go to the spawner. We'll destroy that. Uh, we saw our Daniela fight now, and she has the problem like Philotus. Doesn't want to help us in our battles, because I don't know why. But yeah, you saw her how awesome she is in that last battle. Man. And we could summon for Lotus. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright guys, that is it for this video. As always, please like and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this episode. And all that fun stuff, guys. And what do you guys think of the game, you know, so far? I love it. It's a good time, time passer, you know. Uh, during my break from work, you know uh just at home playing video games i love it this is my hobby guys so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in another episode of at grazer renaissance bye bye guys